Second down and ten. Oh, what a hit. Look out, Brad Smith. My goodness. I'm not sure about the game. Cooper was afraid they'd be overmatched, and you want to keep his offense out for a sustained drive to keep his defense off. Slack, out ball. And there is the biggest hit maybe of the 1989-90 bowl season. Danley down as he was struck by Zach Dumas. Here comes the full blitz over the middle. Oh, what a hit. And I hope Jefferson's okay. Warwick just laid the wood. And I mean, those are the kind of collisions you don't even like to see. Yeah. To be with the a concussion of this force or a, a force like this is concussion you see the head slap back on the turf like that that's ugly doesn't do it justice run for over 100 yards and sacked this time back to the 15 yard line by taylor windham he got rocked and tim tebow is down tim tebow is supine tim tebow is shaken up this punt was 65 yards as he gets Ooh. drilled. Oh, oh. And I tell you what, I got a lot of respect for Michael Gasperson. Zone coverage, he comes into the picture and Romo doesn't see him, and that's that's a big hit for a guy. Here, as Norwood comes to the middle of this defense. Oh, oh my goodness! It's not like Pat White didn't complete a lot of passes in college, but man, does he just need to get the monkey off his back and complete one in this game? He's on the move. He's going to run it. And felt it out of bounds at about the 24, 25 yard line. Pat White is hurt. He hasn't moved since he took that hit. This is going to be the defense you're going to see this year. Yeah, I was saying the front four was the starting front four. Oh, big collision. Pass intended for Percy Harbin. And Earl Thomas ran right into him. Both guys slow to get up. In trouble. Here comes the rush, and here's the hit. Oh, man, a lot. Brady's up. That's Jimbo Fisher, one of the better play callers in the country. He was the offensive coordinator when Nick Saban won a national championship at LSU. Manual. Pockets clean. Got it. Touchdown, 
And he, no, incomplete. They wave it off. They wave it off, and now there's a penalty flag comes flying. They wave it off. Kenny Shaw was the receiver. Several in his career. 11 kickoff and punt returns for scores. On the 26, he'll get a shot at it. Whoa! Helmets out, balls out. Oh my. And Josh Cribbs is probably out. Morgan Cox made the tackle. To keep in mind, Florida State's opponents have recovered two onside kicks against them this year, so they've been shaky in fielding onside kicks. Harris throws a wobbler. Oh, my goodness. Bird got laid out, and you knew that flag was coming. Looking on. Second and ten. Rodgers running the option, keeps it. And gets leveled at the 40-yard line by Mark Barrett. The head hunting free safety. A right hit, balls out. Recovered by Timmons. Ryan Clark is still down. So too is Willis McGahee, and they say fumble recovery, Pittsburgh. Manuel has thrown for 178 yards in the first half and rushed for a touchdown. Time running up. He's going for the end zone. He throws and suffers the interception at the two-yard line. And what a hit at the end of that by Fortson. That is a kill shot at the 15-yard line on Kyle Quarles. You need the 16-yard line. Good protection out in the flat. Lavender loses the football. Picked up by Florida State on the far sideline. Sun Belt as well, which is so important for scheduling purposes. All right, here's Brandon Silvers on first down. Knocked down hard, his helmet comes loose, and the ball is out as well. NC State has it on a thundering hit from Jared Fernandez. Just take a look at the impact of this play. Coming and going. Ball, helmet, dislodged.